Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Visha and I hope you guys are doing good today. For all who don't know me, I do cleaning videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs, and it's holiday season, so why not DIYs as well. Um, so today, I am going to do a Q&A. You guys got questions and I got the answers. And I realized that I have not done one yet on this channel, or maybe I did, I just don't remember. But, I'm getting more subscribers and you probably want to know a little bit more about me. So I have some questions here on my phone that we're gonna answer. So number one, where did you grow up? I grew up in Florida. And number two, where do you currently live right now? I currently live in Texas. Number three, who is your best friend? My sisters and brothers. Number four, how tall are you? I am five four and a half. <laughs> so five five. Number five, dogs or cats? Dogs. I do not like cats. Number six, funniest moment throughout high school. I don't have one. That's sad, but I don't have one. Number seven, where what year were you born? I was born in 1990. Number eight, are you in college? Slash, have you gone to college? Um, I have been to college, yes. And if I am still in college, no. What is your favorite drink? Tequila on the rocks. <laughs> and water. <laughs> Patron tequila. Don't give me no, no other type of tequila. Number 10, what is your spirit animal and why? My spirit animal are elephants. I just love elephants. Elephants, um, they have strong memory. They remember everything. They are so humble. They just seem like the most coolest laid back animal that there is. Like I really do like, um, I really do love elephants. I really do. Number 11, what, no, I'm so wrong. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Calvin Klein Euphora or, oh my God, it's Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Yes. TR Coffee, coffee. Um, number 13, what are your life goals? My life goals are to become a CEO of my own company, to have my own brand of sporting clothes, to become a personal um, fitness trainer. And that is my ultimate goal is to become a um, personal fitness trainer and to have my own gym. I know everything around me is like fitness related because I really honestly if you guys don't know this about me already, I do like fitness and I am, I am like on the bigger side. So I have a tummy and when I put on regular workout clothes, they just stick to me like they stick to me and I don't like that. So I want to create something for women who when they work out, like even if this like a tunic shirt or anything like when they work out their clothes don't stick it's kind of flowy and then and then we have for bigger girls then we have the tunic shirts that are like be like a little bit too short it's just oh we gotta buy it too big so i want to create my own brand um i want my own fitness clothes i want to be as the ceo of my own company like it's mine and that that is my biggest life goal i want that is something that i want to pass down to my child so she can have it as well like that that is a life goal and to be a personal trainer and to own my own gym that is my gym so that is a lifetime goal for me another one is to flip houses i just want to flip a house because i want to get that joanna game and you know that spirit inside of me <laughs> Okay, number 14, 
what sports do you play or have you played the sports that i have done was track and field track and field is my favorite sport that's that <laughs> what is your favorite movie um as movies go on now so it used to be what love got to do with it it was selena it was I like love and basketball, but it, it's, it's not a favorite movie for me. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, love and basketball. It's not a favorite movie um, for me. Oh, what is a movie that I can sit down and just watch? I don't know. Y'all want to know why I don't know? Because I am not a movie person. I'm, I am not. I, I am not a movie person. Who are your favorite YouTubers? So, my favorite YouTubers are All of Destiny. Sarah Ray um, Vargas and it Ashley Q because she used to do fitness. I don't know what happened to her. And oh my god, I think her name is Liz Beretta. I don't. Oh, if you watched this video and I said your name wrong, I am so sorry. Her. Oh, tear for days. I love. I don't care who I am watching on YouTube. I will stop. I will stop it and go on Tear for Days and watch her. She is so funny. She is so upbeat. Like, I love her. I found her like two years ago and I'm sold. Um, I love Love Meg for cleaning inspiration and I love her for that. But yeah, my top three, I'm going to have to say, are Tear for Days, she's number one. All of Destiny is number two. And Sarah Ray Vargas is number three. And it's funny because Sarah Ray Vargas have like one point something million followers. But, and Tear for Days out of all three of them have the least. But I'm going to tell y'all, her name was Tear for Days. It's, it is, her name is now just Tear go watch her she is funny she is real and she she's like she's just the realest of all the realest and she is also a military spouse so go watch her go watch her go watch her she's funny do you speak any languages and how well one that is a crazy question to ask do you speak any i mean if i speak any other language but i only speak english <laughs> I, I want to really learn Spanish. Um, when we was in Germany, I sort of kind of learned like a little bit of German. But I'm going to tell you guys one thing. I learned how to read German, especially when we went to restaurants and we needed to like know what to eat. And when we would go like... Like we will go places. You started. To, you start learning how to read the signs. Um, like being living in a foreign country, like you start to learn the language, like the proper language, and you start to pick it up. But can I speak it? No. But if I see something, can I read it? Yes. So, yeah. Number nineteen. Are you single or taken? I am married. <laughs> number 20 what is your idea of a dream date just take me to the beach to the restaurant that's overlooking the beach and we're good and we're good how long was your longest relationship my marriage um we are going on nine years in december we have been together for nine years but married for nine years in december how would you describe your fashion sense? Okay, so fashion sense. This is me. T-shirt and let me show y'all. T-shirt and leggings. Oh shit. This is me. T-shirt and leggings like the days that I'm not going anywhere. When I am going somewhere, I put on jeans and my daughter's like, okay, where are we going? Yeah, I'm a mom. So, and I stay at home, but t-shirt and leggings but if i really have to go somewhere i'm going to dress up so 
I consider my style more of like an athletic style in the house, but if we go outside somewhere, I am more of a casual, I wouldn't even say casual because sometimes I have been some places with some of my friends and I'm thinking like I'm dressed normal, like I'm dressed casual and they'll be like, well damn, you should have told us you was dressing up. But to me, it was more of a casual dress up. So I don't know how to explain it because my casual to somebody may be like your dressy dress and from from a child both both of my parents would say you're not going with me looking on any type of way so from just having that engraved in me from a child i think my casual is casual other people think my casual is too dressy so yeah <laughs> and i do in the bed the same way and so i don't know what is your go-to hairstyle oh y'all are looking at it part or i might do a side part i might be a little part i am so ashy or i might do like you see the middle part and this this is my go-to hairstyle it really is when i don't know what nothing else to do with my hair this is it okay 23 no that was 23 24 how many siblings do you have i have three brothers and three sisters what is your go-to fast food order? Chick-fil-A, a spicy chicken deluxe, hold the cheese with a lemonade with Chick-fil-A sauce. Number 26, do you use PC or a Mac? I have a Mac and I have a PC, but I prefer my Mac. 27, most memorable vacation memory. Italy, Venice, Venice, Italy. I love Venice and I love I don't know if I love Venice because of the water maybe I did love Venice because I mean but then again Venice tops I I'm not even comparing Venice 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 I went to London I loved it London but Venice Italy I would go back they should just say oh my god i would i would go back their seafood is like nobody else's seafood like this little seafood bowl that we be doing over here with all this garlic and butter and herbs their seafood is see like it's cooked on a whole nother level it is so good they do some stuff with fish that you wouldn't even think that you could do Italy. I would definitely go back in a heartbeat. What are your morning evening routines? So my morning routine is wake up at six o'clock. Nevada get up at six o'clock. I go back in my bed until seven o'clock until she gets done. <laughs> until she gets done. Then I get up at seven o'clock. She's done getting ready. She's ate breakfast. I look and see how she looks. We walk to well, I put her on a pot of coffee. Um, I walk her to school, I come back home, I drink my coffee, I read a chapter of whatever book that I'm reading, and then I come in here, do my business, um, get on here, do my business, come in the office, some of you might like, do your business, come in the office and work, come in the office and work, um, work out, then evenings i could get in the bed because she get to me evenings start at like 3 30. she get out of school we come home she does homework you know what how about we just do this because that's just too much to explain how about i do a morning routine and i do a evening routine y'all let me know down below y'all want to see that a morning routine and an evening evening routine and just let me know in the comments down below like for real i will do i will do that do you have any bad habits yes i am very indecisive and i hate it i hate it with a passion like i'm so indecisive and i hate it so bad <laughs> i hate it so bad 
that is a bad habit that I have. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. I ran in the Junior Olympics. You guys wouldn't know that. Um, I was I ran in the Junior Olympics from my sixth grade year all the way up to was that my junior year? No, I think it was my sophomore or junior year. It it was one of those. So yeah, from the sixth grade all the way up into my junior year, um, and I ran track in the Junior Olympics. Yes, I did. I wish I would have kept going. I wish I would have went to college for that. I, yeah, that, that is something that you don't know about me, that I, I did do that. And yeah, so <laughs> y'all know some stuff about me. Um, they have some more questions. Get to know me extended tag. If you want to know some more about me, just let me know down below. I just thought I could come on here and give a, a get to know me. Like get to know me because you guys, you don't know me and I don't know some of you. And I'm always posting cleaning videos and things like that. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me just this, you know, this week make it a little different and post something different. Um, so yeah, get to know me. Yeah, well, y'all just did. So if you like me, <laughs> hit that like button. <laughs> y'all, I'm so corny. Like, I be laughing at my jokes. That's something about me, too. I'm corny. Like, I laugh at my jokes, and my whole house is, I'll be like this, like literally like so yeah i think i'm funny but hey 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 thank you guys so much for watching and until next time you guys bye <laughs>